and welcome to my little studio here in Australia. Uh, it's Claire here. And uh, if you're anything like me and you love jelly printing and creating amazing colored papers like you can see here, uh, you probably have a million of them floating around in your studio and you've probably got no idea what to do with them. Well, today I am going to take you through a little tutorial on creating handmade envelopes. So you can turn your beautiful handcrafted paper into these cute little envelopes. It's a little bit of origami, it's a little bit of craft, it's a little bit of fun. You can use your own handcrafted paper, you can use scrapbook paper, you can use something you have drawn on, painted on. You can even download uh, images from my Etsy store, which I have a link for down in the description. Uh, and then you can create your very own handmade envelopes out of your own beautiful artwork. So if that sounds like something that interests you, join me as we make these together. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways how to make and use templates. So this is a template that I have created to make envelopes really easily. A couple of bits and pieces that we're going to need to do this. A uh, pair of scissors, obviously, to cut out our paper. Uh, glue to stick our paper together. A couple of options, glue stick or tape glue, whichever works best for you. Glue stick with the coloured glue. This one is the blue. Definitely works best so you can see where you're gluing. Can get a little messy though. Tape glue is really useful because that one there is not so messy, but it's clear, so it's not so easy to see where you've glued. Uh, pencil, so you can draw around your uh, template once we've made it. And uh, this is called a bone folder, and that helps uh, to make really good creases. You can also just use a uh, credit card or a ruler or even just your fingers, that's fine. A ruler is very useful if you want to uh, make good uh, creases. And of course, you'll need some paper. And that's it. Okay, so we've got our template that you've printed off uh, on the computer. Uh, you can either print it out just on plain uh, printer paper. You can print it out on cardstock, which I've got here. Or you can print it directly onto the back of the piece of paper you're going to use. So that's what I've done here, printed it directly onto the back of it. So I'll just cut around it. There you go. All right, so first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is to cut out a template. And so that we can use that to draw around our piece of paper. Okay, so I'll use a pair of scissors. Okay, so basically just cut around the outside as neat as you can, following the lines. The neater you make this part of it, the neater your final envelopes will be. But of course, we are making handmade envelopes, so you don't want them to look like they were made in a manufacturing warehouse, do you? You want them to look like they were made by you because they were and they want to be a little bit unique and a little bit, a little bit special. All right, there's one. Now, what we need to do now is to score the edges so they're easier to fold. Now, this is what we call a bone folder and that helps us to score the edges to help fold them. And basically you just run that up against the side of your, ruler and it creates you can see the little line there and it makes it easier to fold so you just line up the two edges of where you want to fold run that across there helps it to fold there we go line up the two edges run that across and fold it and the same here run across the two edges and fold it. There we go. And we'll use that bone folder again just to crease those edges. There we 
And now we have our template for our small square envelope. That's pretty cool, hey? We'll just finish this one off. You can see the little dotted lines where the scoring needs to go. It helps you to know where to do that folding. And we'll just fold that in, fold that one in, fold away, and on the other side, fold away. And using the bone folder just to make those creases nice and sharp. And there is for our other envelope. Okay, so we're going to make one of these small little envelopes with my envelope template here. And we're gonna use this pretty paper that I made on my jelly print. Okay, so we'll use the back of the paper to begin with to draw around our template that we just made. And then we will cut our template out and create our envelope. Okay, so choose our area that we're going to draw our template around. Grab our pencil and just basically draw around the template. Easy. All right, you want to make sure you can see it. Yep, I can see that. Hopefully you can see it there. I've drawn around that. And I am going to do a rough cut first so that I can easily handle my paper to begin with. And then I will do a more detailed cut in a second. Okay, so I'll get rid of that paper off to the side. So that's the area that's going to be our envelope. Okay, so now I am going to cut around the edges much neater than I did before. Following the lines. Cutting around the corners, cutting around the curves. I do find it's a lot easier to do it with scissors, but you can do it with your craft knife if you want to. It's obviously using it up against a, a ruler for safety sake. Corner. Okay, these bits here, the extra little cut off bits, can keep them. They can always look useful for other projects. Otherwise, you just yeah, pop them in the bin. Okay, so now we get our template back so we can help fold the envelope. Okay, so make sure it's nicely lined up and just use the template folds to fold your envelope. So you're folding it up inside the template. Okay, take the template away and now you've got a nice folding envelope. Okay, now one thing I have noticed in here is we've got a little bit of uh, a bit of catching here on the edges. So we might just do a little trimming on the side here just so that it doesn't uh, catch. It can sometimes happen when you've got handmade envelopes that they're not quite even or they sometimes catch on the edges. There we go. All right, so these two bit sides go in first, the bottom goes up the top, and then we will put the glue on the sides here to hold that bottom in place. And then that top goes over there. And we've got our little envelope. How cute is that? All right, so I'll do one side with the glue stick and then I'll do the other side with the glue tape. All right. I always find that uh, the colored glue sticks, the ones that go on colored and then dry clear, so much easier to use because you can see where you put the glue. The, cl the clear glue ticks, you just can't see. You can't see where you put them. Like this one here, I mean, I know where I put that because I've just run the thing and I can feel the ticky, but you can see where I put the glue there. You can't see where I put the glue there. So how much easier is that? So then you just push that in there. That's nice and stuck now. And now I've got a a cute little homemade envelope. And I should have a card that will fit inside. So you can either use shop-bought cards that are already made to fit this size, or you can make your own. Or you can put something else in there completely. 
But how cute is that? Ah, I just want to die. Awesome. So here we are doing a second one. I'm uh, just using another different piece of paper. And again, just drawing around the template. Nice and simple. And cutting it out with my scissors. I sped this up quite a bit, as you can see, just so nobody gets too bored. <laughs> then using the template again to make it easier to fold in the lines. It definitely makes it easier using the template rather than trying to do it without it. Just helps you know where to do those folding bits. Use the bone folder to help you fold it nice and, and tight. So use the glue to hold it in place, either glue stick or tape glue, whatever makes it easier for you. Okay, so just going to show you how to do the ones where we've printed it on straight onto the back of the piece of paper. Essentially, you'll need to work out what works for your printer at home because every printer is different, so I won't be able to help you with your exact printer. But just have a look at the manufacturing um, instructions on your printer. If you don't have them anymore, you can download them off the internet. They're pretty easy to find. Um, essentially, print on the back the template um, that I have as a download as part of this video. Um, and then you simply just cut out cut out the template straight from here. So let's give that a go, shall we? Grab a pair of scissors and we'll just straight cut out. Um, as I said before, I always find scissors are just so much easier because you're more, it's more organic, more natural, more curvy. But do whatever feels more comfortable for you because everybody's different. You do what works for you. Okay, all right, so now we've got our envelope cut out. We're just going to fold along the dotted lines. You can, of course, use a ruler, use a bone folder, use whatever you've got to hand to make this folding easier for you. I'm just pretending that I don't have anything with me to make it Folding across along the dotted lines. Do, 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 do. There we go. And boop, boop, boop. all right, so then we've got the two sides and the bottom bit and then the top bit for the envelope, or whichever whichever way you want to do it basically. Let's go with this one. Now okay, grab my glue. I'll go with a glue stick this time round. Okay. A little bit of glue here, pop a little bit of glue here, there we go, and then we've got our envelope. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm just showing you another one here, cutting it out uh, from the printed lines that I printed on the back of the piece of paper. Sped up again so you don't get bored. And again, using the template because it just makes it easier to know where those folding lines go. And using the tape glue this time because I always find that to be a little less messy. Thank you so much for joining me with that. It was so much fun sharing that with you. Um, as you can see, I love making these beautiful things with such gorgeous paper. Any of these designs you can download from my Etsy store, so make sure you go and check them out. I will be making a video very soon on how to create your own templates so you can make them different sizes. The template we used this time was a small one. I also have templates that, that are for a larger size and even up to a five by seven size envelope. So I will teach you how to make your own envelope template any size you like. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video and we'll see you soon.